Hi there, I'm Sue with Ava's Bridal Couture in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, and today I want to talk with you about sizing. I'm going to show you how I measure for a bridesmaid dress as well as a wedding dress. I'll take you to our measurement guide on our website. It's also linked for you down below in the description, so I'll keep everything all in one place. This little diagram shows you where we're measuring the bust, waist, and hips, and it goes over a little more description. I've got some size charts linked for wedding dresses and bridesmaid dresses that we carry. And I've also included a video here that you can share with your bridal party on how to measure. At our salon, we typically measure in bra and underwear. You can also wear something thin that doesn't add a lot of bulk when you're taking those measurements. Even if you don't plan to wear a bra in your bridesmaid dress or wedding dress, you do want to measure in an actual bra when you're doing your fitting. When you come into our salon, we will do a full professional fitting, and you can also go to a local tailor or a bridal shop in your area and have your measurements taken. When you're at home, maybe you live out of town and you want to have those measurements done so that we can do a virtual appointment, you can see how I'm using the mirror, making sure that the tape measure isn't twisted on my body, and then I want that tape measure to be level to the floor and not too high or too low front and back. A common question I get is how do I find my natural waist? So I'm showing you here how you'll bend side to side and you can find the smallest part of your waist where it naturally creases. And if there's not a defined waist, go ahead and do a medium point between your high and your low rise. I want to show you how to get the fullest part of your hips if you're unsure where at your hips to measure. Notice how I'm keeping the tape measure parallel to the floor. I'm not going underneath my buttocks, but I'm getting the fullest point. These measurements are going to help you make decisions on the size chart, which is the next step. Now that you've written down your measurements, let's go back over to the measurement guide. You'll be able to read over these tips and reminders here, but feel free to retake your measurements a couple of times until you feel confident in your numbers. Now we're going to click on those size charts. I've got some linked for bridal and bridesmaids. You're going to see that your bridal size will be one or two sizes bigger than your street size. For example, if you wear a size 14 at the Gap or Banana Republic, you're going to see that in bridal you're going to be a 16, 18 and sometimes even a 20 depending on your critical measurement, your body shape, and the dress that you're going to be ordering. I've also linked my contact information below. If you have any questions, just give me a shout. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment below. Are you a new bride? Are you the mom, sister, friend? Are you the wedding planner? Tell me who's out there watching. I'd love to connect with you. I'll be hanging out with you in the description below, and I've got some other goodies and videos there for you, but I hope that this was helpful, so give me a like, hit that subscribe, ring the bell for notifications for weekly videos, and I'll see you soon.